I think I would say to myself, having heard all of your um, experiences of being a female in computer science and in tech subjects, I think I would say not to let that hold me back, not to let the fact that maybe I didn't have that representation hold me back from doing it myself. Um, I think maybe then I might have pursued it more at a younger age. Um, so yeah, just to just to not let anything, if you want to do something, to just go and do it. And don't wait for somebody to um, be there showing you how to, just go and do it. Yeah, I think for myself, I would say try and get outside of my comfort zone a little bit. Uh, I think I was quite scared to uh, go to tech events and like network with companies, etc. because I felt like oh, there aren't going to be many other women there. Um, but I think it's important to get involved in those kind of things, but also um, go to like women in tech events and panels such as this or uh, doing like recruitment events, because I think people who are then joining university, other girls like you, um, can see like a role model and it will like probably encourage them to go into tech a bit more as well. And I think one of the things I learned, uh, particularly over year 13 doing A-levels, which I've tried to bring over to university, is to be the first one to admit not to know something. Mm -hmm. Because at least I've always felt like, um, like I should be ashamed or afraid to admit that there's some, that there's things I can't do and things I want to learn how to do but don't know how to yet. Um, so realising that basically everything, everyone feels that way about something um, was really important for me. And knowing that if you're, the, if you step out your comfort zone and admit, I need help with this, others will reciprocate and it just creates a community, much warmer, more welcoming community where everyone exchanges ideas and it's just, it's a much healthier way to learn and live, I think. Yeah. yeah. I think by the end of school, I was quite good at asking for help because, you know, you kind of know our teachers and the whole class for a really long time. And then you kind of get to uni, it's a completely different environment, you're not entirely sure who you should ask for help. So at first it was quite difficult to kind of, you know, ask for particular questions, even in like the smaller groups. But after about 10 weeks, we all know each other quite well now, so everyone's just like, I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> so I think that's really nice. Just wanna be me.